Let's go over a couple more examples. Let's look at example five. We want to find the critical points and use the second derivative test to determine the relative extrema of this example. The function is negative 3x to the fourth plus 8x to the third plus 6x squared minus 24x plus 5. I'm going to go ahead and take both the first and second derivatives so that I don't have to take derivatives in the middle of the problem. The first derivative will be negative 12x to the third plus 24x squared plus 12x minus 24. The second derivative will be negative 36x squared plus 48x plus 12. Now, the critical values happen, remember, when the first derivative is 0. So when negative 12x to the third plus 24x squared plus 12x minus 24 happens to be 0. I'm going to solve this. The first thing that I am going to do is divide both sides by the number negative 12. If I divide the left-hand side by negative 12, I get 0. If I divide the right-hand side by negative 12, I end up with 1x to the third minus 2x squared minus 1x plus 2. You can factor this. I don't know if you recall how to factor things or not, but one of the things you can do is look at the numbers which multiply to give you negative 2 and test those. It turns out that only 1 and 2 or negative 1 and negative 2 give you that. So let's plug in 1. Plug in 1, you get 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus 2. So that gives you a 0. So 1 works. And that means that 0 could be equal to a product of x minus 1. times a remaining polynomial. So I know since one works, I know x minus one is going to be a factor. And then x squared divide out using long division. So when I did long division, I ended up with x squared minus one x minus two as the other polynomial. I can further factor that right-hand side by taking x minus 2 multiplied times x plus 1. So I have three factors that multiply to give me 0. That means I have three critical values one of which is x equals 1, the other is x equals 2, and the other is x equals negative 1. Let's not worry about the critical points right now. The critical points you could find by plugging those into your original function. Instead, I want to find whether or not we have a relative minimum or a relative maximum at each one of these critical values. So let's go ahead with finding 
what's going to happen at each one of those critical values. The way we do that is we plug each one of those critical values into the second derivative. I plug in a 1 into the second derivative. Negative 36 plus 48 plus 12 would give me a 24. That's a positive. I know that that means we're concave up there. So we have a relative minimum at the point which has x value of 1 and the y value will get when you plug in 1 into the function. I'll calculate that in just a second. Let's look at the next value. The next value I have is 2. When you plug in 2 into the second derivative, negative 36 times 2 squared plus 48 times 2 plus 12 gives me a negative 36. That means we're concave down there. And we have a relative maximum at the point 2 comma h of 2. Again, we'll find out what that point is in just a moment. The last critical value is negative 1. We're going to plug in negative 1 into the second derivative. Again, that second derivative is negative 36 now times negative 1 squared plus 48 times negative 1 plus 12. And that gives a negative 72. So we're concave down, and that means we have a relative maximum, again, at the point which has x value negative 1 and y value h of negative 1. If I want to find what those points actually are, let's just plug in 1 and plug in 2 and plug in negative 1 into our h of x. I'll go ahead and do that on my own. Again, we're plugging those into h of x, not the first or second derivative, but the actual original function. In the case where we're supposed to plug in 1, I ended up with a relative minimum at the point 1, negative 8. At the value of 2, I ended up with a relative maximum point of 2, comma, negative 3. And at the value of negative 1, I ended up with a point of negative 1, comma, 24. So those are the three relative extrema of this function. We have a relative minimum point, a relative maximum point, and another relative maximum point.